Hello, this is Susan Sanders from the Rapid City National Weather Service Office with the story of the remarkable temperature fluctuations of January 22, 1943. Montana Dakota Utilities had temperature recording devices at their offices, including the Spearfish Office at 135 East Hudson Street. The recording chart from January 22 shows the early morning temperature was 4 degrees below zero at 7.32 a.m., then quickly rose to 45 degrees above zero just two minutes later, a change of 49 degrees that set the world record. More changes occurred throughout the day. By 9 a.m., the temperature had reached 54 degrees, but fell back to 4 degrees below zero by 9.27 a.m., a drop of 58 degrees. It rose again, but not as quickly, from 3 to 55 degrees between 10 and 10.30 a.m., then cooled to 12 degrees shortly before sunset. A combination of strong Chinook winds and extremely cold air caused the wild temperature fluctuations. Chinook winds occur when moist air rises over a mountain range. The air cools and the water vapor condenses to form clouds and precipitation on the windward side. This causes the heavier upslope snow in the northern Black Hills. As the dry air descends on the leeward side of the mountains, it warms due to increasing air pressure. A distinct temperature inversion between dense cold air near the ground and lighter warm air above keeps the two air masses separated. This boundary can be seen by a layer of low clouds over the plains, fog where they intersect the Black Hills, and clear skies above the cold air. The unique topography of the Black Hills, which rise above the cold air like an island, contribute to rapid changes in short distances. Weather conditions on January 15th set the stage when an extremely cold Arctic air moved southward through the upper Midwest and engulfed the entire central United States by January 19th. The cold air mass was so deep it covered the entire Black Hills. High temperatures didn't get above zero, while low temperatures of 20 below to 32 degrees below zero set daily records that still stand today. By January 20th, a Pacific air mass moved from the western United States into the Rockies, and the lighter warm air slid above the heavy cold air. Lead warmed to 35 degrees, while the low of 33 degrees on January 21st indicated the warm air was moving over the higher elevations of the Black Hills, while temperatures on the foothills and plains remained well below zero. The weather observer in Lead recorded shimmering along the hills above town where the cold and warm layers met. On the morning of January 22nd, southwest winds brought the warmer air farther east with lows on the Wyoming Plains in the 20s and 30s, but still below zero on the South Dakota Plains. The Chinook winds increased shortly after sunrise and the warm air moved rapidly down the foothills, pushing the cold air onto the lower plains. The air masses splashed back and forth along the foothills throughout the day as the Chinook winds pushed the warm air down the slopes onto the plains. When the winds decreased, the warmer air retreated and strong north winds pushed the cold air back. Winds decreased as the sun dipped behind the Black Hills and the cold air returned to the foothills. The rapid thawing and freezing killed pine trees and branches of deciduous trees and shrubs, leaving a brown band along the north and east sides of the Black Hills, as noted by the National Forest Supervisor. This event received national attention with coverage in newspapers across the country and inquiries to the Weather Bureau from skeptical individuals. You can read additional details on our website.